La Montanita Co-op and the Rio Grande Community Farm are both integral parts to our community, so it makes perfect sense that these two entities team up for the Veteran Farmer Project. All right, guys, I am out here uh, with Robin Seidel, who is a membership director at La Montanita Co-op. And so tell us uh, a little bit about La Montanita. For those of you that may not have shopped there before, one of the greatest places to get your groceries here. And we're standing at a beautiful farm. So tell us a little bit about it. We're going to find out a little more in a bit about what we're doing out here. So this is the Veteran Farmer Project. It's one of La Montanita's community service projects. And we grow food here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have veterans who come in and work the fields, and then we sell the food to the co-op and also out at the VA Growers Market. Wow, okay. So how did this project get started? I was lucky enough to be invited to the Ecological Farming Conference in California about five years ago, and there were a group of veterans talking about how farming really helped their PTSD symptoms. Mm -hmm. I know that we have a large per capita population of veterans here in New Mexico, and that the average age of our farmers is 62 years old. So if you and I want to continue eating in the next decade, this is a good we, thing. <laughs> yeah, we needed some new young farmers. Uh -huh. And it seemed like uh, pretty much a no-brainer. Put the incoming vets, the returning home vets, mm -hmm. train them how to farm, which is what we do here, mm -hmm. and then let them grow food for the coming years. That's great. So how did the relationship between La Montanita Co-op and the Rio Grande Community Farm happen? So Jonathan Ash is a longtime farmer in New Mexico. He grows, uh, he has Thunderhead Farms. He grows amazing chili and he sells to La Montanita Co-op and we got to be friends. He's also the vice president of the board of the Rio Grande Community Farm Project mm -hmm. and so we, he knew we had to move from our previous location downtown because they were developing that site. And he said, why not come up to the farm? We've got space. And so um, we started working with Jonathan and Sean Ludden, who is the Rio Grande farm manager. Mm -hmm. And the rest is history. Are. All right, guys, I'm with Sean Ludden, who is the Rio Grande community farm manager. And I got to say, you're running a pretty amazing ship out here, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm really I'm really excited to be out here. I started in uh, February with uh, Rio Grande Community Farm, and uh, it's been it's been a great great ride since. Yeah. yeah. So t so tell us a little bit about what's going on here. First of all, the acreage that we're working with. Yeah. Well, this this uh, encompasses open space. It's about 120 acres that's managed by the city. Um, we work on a small portion of that, uh, 16 acres, as well as an adjacent area near our uh, barn. Mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it allows us uh, a lot of space to be able to do many of the community projects that we have going right now. So for you, uh, what does it do for you personally to be able to give this opportunity to veterans and have this sort of synergistic relationship with the Rio Grande Community Farm? Well, I love working with the folks at Rio Grande Community Farm. Look at this beautiful space yeah, we gorgeous. get to be to. And the, the veterans really, many of them say how they no longer have to take so many meds. Their PTSD symptoms have reduced. They're not having nightmares. They love to come out here and work. It's so beautiful. It's so healing. And we have created this wonderful sense of community here for them. I feel it is very healing, very therapeutic. You know, So for me, seeing people out here, uh, both within the veteran farm project um, and in the community garden you know people are here they're they're able to to get outside to enjoy nature um, to, to participate in growing their own food and I see that as a very healing and therapeutic so for me the benefit that's the benefit you know as they say I hate to be cliche but win-win so yeah. it does my heart good um, my dad's a vet I love seeing people heal I love seeing people eat healthy food and I love being out in this beautiful incredible space all right, joining us now to talk more about the program is, as you just saw, Robin Seidel with La Montanita Co-op. She's a membership director, along with Sarah Jacobson, who is currently a veteran farmer. Ladies, thank you for being here. Yeah. So, Sarah, I want to get to know you a little bit more. First, uh, tell us what you're currently doing right now, and tell us uh, your military rank. I'm a nurse right now. I'm an ICU nurse, and I'm a, I was a staff sergeant in staff the sergeant. Army Reserves. I was deployed to... Wanstow Regional Medical Center in Germany. Wow. wow, well thank you for your service. Yes, thank you. Now how and when, why did you get involved in this program? I was looking for something to kind of get me connected back to my food and yeah. where it comes from and I was at the Horses for Heroes project up in Santa Fe uh -huh. and I found their flyer. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. So tell us about that experience and how it's how it's impacted your life working with this, uh, this program. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's been um, it's been nice. I mean, it's therapeutic pulling the weeds and getting to know the other vets, and I think everybody is truly healing. So yeah. it's been amazing. 
That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. And, and Robin, tell us a little bit about so, some of the other projects that La Montanita has going on. You know, we are really devoted to doing community service. It's one of the co-op principles is concern mm -hmm. for community. Mm -hmm. So we have a variety of projects. The uh, bag donation, if you bring your own cloth bag to the co-op, you can donate the dime. Over the past few years, we've raised $100,000 mm -hmm. that have gone out to a series of community organizations that do good works in the community. We have the La Montanita Fund. We have local investors, co-op members, who let us use their money to uh, fund farmers to help them scale up to produce more food. Okay. And then we have our Make a Child Smile project that is uh, during the holidays. Every year for the past 20 years, we have gotten gifts for about 600 children in protective custody, children whose families are dealing with domestic violence or who are incarcerated. So, so really, La Montanita does we do a lot. A lot. Yeah, we do a lot in the community. Yeah. Those are just a few of the things, and there, there are other things too, but yeah. Yeah. those are some of my favorites. Some my of personal your favorites. favorites. Well, yeah. lots of, re I mean, obviously, clearly, aside from the great food that you can get, the great produce, it's all you know, fresh, local, all great stuff. You're doing so much for our community. Yet another reason to support La Montanita Co-op. Three locations here in Albuquerque, is that right? That's one in correct. Santa Fe? Mm -hmm. And one in Gallup. And one in Gallup. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. right. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Well, for more information on La Montanita, La Montanita Co-op, head over to casa.com. We'll have all the links there. Yeah.